guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we could do a get ready with me, um, but a very chill get ready with me. It's date night tonight, we are going to the cinema. So I thought what an excuse to put on a more kind of everyday makeup look. And I also thought I would try and use kind of drugstore only products. The majority of these products um, our drugstore. The only thing that isn't is going to be my um, foundation. This is a lighter foundation which I've used before. However, you can get this in Boots, um, and they do they do do them in like specials and stuff like that. So, although this isn't what I would call drugstore, it's more high end drugstore. So um, I'm going to do a really simple look and bring you guys along with me. I've got a hot chocolate from our coffee machine with whipped cream as well. So um, grab a cup of tea, get comfy, and let's get straight into it. Okay, I have been out and about today. So as much as I've not got any makeup on, I am going to tone and moisturize. So this is actually from Aldi. It's the Healthy Glow Rose Toner from the range La Lacra. I think that's what it's called. Um, and I always take a cotton pad. Normally I do use reusable cotton pads, but they are currently in the wash because it's no good trying to clean your face if your cotton pad is dirty. Um, yeah, so I've had a lovely day today. I had a lie in because I've not actually been sleeping recently at all. I've been living on like two, three hours a night. And then I went to the doggy cafe and then I just popped around to my nan to see some of my family which was lovely. And then I thought, come home, film today's video, and then I can head out. That is actually disgusting. Like, I have showered this morning, washed my face, but just from being out and about, I don't know if you can see that, like, this is why you must always tone and moisturize before applying your makeup. So like, even when people come to me to have their makeup done, they're like, I haven't had any makeup on all day. You will notice that that is not good enough for me. Um, because if you don't remove everything, then it will, it will just make your makeup go black bitty, for lack of a better word. Oh, hi, Loons. Coming to say hello to the vid. No, she's doing bad dog shit. Um, I've also had some problems with dry skin recently on my lids. So I'm literally going to do the bare minimum. Have my eyelashes done. They need to be redone getting done on Tuesday and I've had my brows laminated so my brows won't need much just because they drew a tint um I'm gonna pencil them in so let's get cracking so I'm gonna be using the Iconic London Radiance Booster today I don't want a kind of a thick foundation on I just want something to kind of give me a bit more of an overall glow um I literally pop a bit of this on my hand or onto a palette and then I take my beauty blender which is the Coco Cosmetics by Chloe and just work that into the skin so even if you are only using a BB cream placement of your product is still super important you never want to um, swipe you always want to pat and you want to work in areas so a lot of people I see kind of put their foundation directly onto their face and leave it there like classic dun 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 and then work it in but if you're doing that the product is starting to settle so you're making it you're making more work for yourself basically so i tend to work in sections and then you're not moving product around too much you're keeping it quite concentrated and also it means you're going to get the best placement and kind of coverage making the most out of your product and your tools um that's a good little tip for you a lot of people i know still use their hands to apply makeup which is fine but you end up using a lot more product than you need and you won't get that kind of flawless finish um that's why i love a beauty blender and then what i tend to do is use a flat brush and just kind of blend that down my neck because of the shape of your neck it's um you sometimes get crevices and stuff like that. So then I take a brush like this and just move the product down slightly. So in this sense, you are moving it, but you're kind of buffing it into the skin. And I do that around my hairline as well, just so that there's no sharp edges. Um, yeah, so that's 
the base. I never put any on my eyes because obviously I put concealer on. Um, just gives a really nice glow. It's not too heavy. Um, lovely colour. Yeah, I love it. So um, I'm going to go back in with some oldies but goodies. These are the Peaches and Creams um, cream blushes. So I have been using the Made by Mitchell ones for ages. And these are a similar price point, I believe. Although the Made by Mitchells, I tend to always buy when they're on TikTok shop specials. Um, but I would always consider Peaches kind of, I mean, both of them are probably drugstore, but I thought for this video, I'd mix it up. So this is very well loved. Um, this is the... Um, cream blush in tutti frutti it's funny whenever i go to say blush now my brain automatically goes blush <laughs> because of the made by mitchell ones so i haven't used this product in ages so i'm just going to take a brush a dense brush like this my brushes do need cleaning but these are my personal brushes so let's not and then you just want to tap that on the only thing i will say with from using the blushes is that the blushes are a lot more pigmented, whereas this is a bit more buildable. But obviously for like a more kind of casual makeup look, I don't really want anything too heavy, if that makes sense. Whereas this is just gonna give me a nice bit of blush. And I can build that up if I wanted to. Um, please excuse the state of my hair as well. This is very much, needs a good scrub and wash. Um, but yeah, this feels so nice on the skin, it's so lightweight, and like I say, it is completely buildable. But for tonight, I just want something just a really fresh face, fresh face, a fresh faced that kind of clean girl aesthetic with a hint of Essex glam because your girl can never not be bronzed. So you can see that there's just it's just a slight definition, it's not, it's not too much at all. Which is nice and then again on my chin and then I'm actually gonna go back in with a flat brush to really blend that one out just because where it's dense it, I feel it is a bit more vigorous with the blend and nobody likes to see a five o'clock shadow just do that up there as well so really light really lovely product um, doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all and then for the blush i absolutely love the shade of this this is the product that got me into blushes because it's it's so subtle um it doesn't it doesn't feel too much so i mean you could work this product in with your finger if you wanted to but i just prefer using brushes and things like that oh i just love that so much so this is in shade tutti frutti um so once i've put that on i will then use my beauty blender bottom of the shape one and just pat that in so that there's no kind of harsh lines and then the concealer today i was undecided i've got a very well loved um, Maybelline, I think it's Maybelline this one, the anti-aging one, but I've also got a collection Last Imperfection concealer. So I think I'm gonna go with a combination of both because this one is quite fair. So if I put that in my inner corner, if you can't tell, I am using the camera as my mirror. Um, and then I'm gonna put this up here they're both a very similar shade but the last in what is it called last in perfection is just slightly fairer um this i think is like two or three pound and then this is slightly more but there's so much product in there it will last you for ages um 6.8 mil which for a concealer I and mean, it's not as big as the born this way ones which are my ride or dies and i do think that that is so far, the best concealer I've ever tried. Um, in my advent calendar, well, my 12 days of Christmas, Charlotte Tilbury, I got the Charlotte Tilbury concealer, but it's definitely not in my shade. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't rate it. Like, it was fine, don't get me wrong, but just nothing beats the Born This Way. But for drugstore, 
I do think the collection is a good one. I just, it's just for me, it's the wear. Like if I was going out all night, I definitely would only trust my Born This Way because I find any other concealer just, just kind of has a mind of its own. But yeah, looks nice, looks good. Um, I need to get my powder puff under my eyes. Let me get that. So this is the only powder puff I have used that like recently i mean from when we had like makeup when we were kids this is the trigged well cosmetics again this isn't available to buy in drugstores um kind of like the made by mitchell and the coco cosmetics by chloe but these aren't very expensive i mean i got the big puff two big puffs two little puffs as a set on tiktok shop i'm sure i paid like 15 pounds they always do deals but yeah it's super soft um there probably is dupes of these somewhere but at that price um i'd be I'm quite happy to pay it. So I am using the Banana Powder by W7. I haven't used this in ages. I've, since I've been onto my Huda, um, I literally just used my Huda Beauty one, but I thought, let's give this a go. Obviously this has got like slightly yellow undertones, um, which is fine. So I'm just gonna pop that under my eye to set that. Um, I mean, this is, a very very affordable product and just by using the powder puff i feel like you're really getting the most out of your products like look at the difference it just gives you such a good blurring effect so is it the product or is it the is it the tool i'm not sure the verdict is still out but yeah i love it and then the mini ones are brilliant i've actually used the mini one more than the big one i gave my other big one to my mother-in-law um, as she needed a powder puff and I said to her I've got a set of four so you take one so I always do a bit on my chin and I always do a bit on my t-zone because they're my kind of oily areas but other than that I don't use too much powder because I've got dry skin too much powder is too much for me um okay let's have a little bit more on my hot chalk and then we'll move on to powder products Mm. it's so good we got the tazimo for christmas and we got some of the hot chocolates i think they're cadbury's so good. Mm -mm -mm. you can use kind of hot chocolate without a bit of cream though can you criminal okay so for bronzer i'm using the peaches and cream bronzer which obviously complements the other the cream one this is the bronzing powder in medium light so I'm going to take my angled brush and just put that in the pan and then just work that into the skin. So this is a little bit more pigmented, but I like it. I like the shade. I think the beauty of having like the cream product underneath is then when you put your powder product on, it kind of brings it all together. So if your cream product doesn't necessarily look that pigmented when you then put the powder on top it it ties it all in in my personal opinion this pan is huge by the way like you can see it's full so this would last you a long time which we love yeah, it's starting to come together now going under my chin i do do a little bit down my nose but i don't massively nose contour and then i just take a a small fluffy brush and just use the bronzer all over my lid just to give me a little bit of colour. Normally I would use a concealer or a eyeshadow base but because this is just like an everyday kind of chilled look I'm not that bothered. You know, I'm not looking for it to be an eyeshadow look it's just a wake me up look. So just literally all over the lid Blend it out, bring it up slightly, rubs your uncle, and as you want. Um, I'm also going to put a little bit under my eye. A little bit under my eye, I just think because I've got green eyes, it really makes the colour pop. Go, okay. you can see just a little bit. A little bit smells like. Um, so it's literally just blush and then my eyebrows 
and I'm using the Beauty Bay in shade Coral. Where is my brush? This is quite pigmented, so just be mindful you don't you don't need a lot. Yeah, I feel like I always go for more coral shades um, with blusher. I just think they're more subtle, especially for clients that aren't like really into blush quite yet. So I pop that there a little bit on my nose. Then I go back in with my bronzing brush and just kind of blend that up a little bit so that nothing looks too heavy and just make sure we've not got massive kind of contrast of colours anywhere. Pop that up there. Okay, so um, setting spray, again, I haven't got anything that is drugstore. The only thing I've got at the moment are high end. So I'm just gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, this is a really wet, wet <laughs> setting spray. It used to be my ride or die when I first got into makeup, but since then I've tried like the Pixies spray, I've tried the Morphe spray, um, and I definitely prefer like a mist. Um, the poor professional one actually, my benefit was lovely. I got that, I got it in a beauty bag or something because I only got a tester size of it. That's really nice. Um, but I think my fave is Morphe and that is only £16 and I'm pretty sure you can get that from Boots. Um, really good. So I did find a Primark highlighter. Now this was £3. This is Fantasy. Really cute. I love Primark makeup and I do want to do a full video on Primark makeup because it's got so many good dupes at the moment. So let me know in the comments if you want a full face of Primark because I will happily go take my Primark head on and uh, fill up cute um because we're going to the cinema and we're going to probably eat popcorn or something like that i'm actually not going to bother with a massive lip look because i'm just gonna end up chewing it off so this is the peaches and cream dark brow definer so i just brush my brows up i like my kind of laminated laminated look but obviously it's personal preference um yeah i've had my brow i had my brows laminated for Christmas so you can't you have to get them done every eight weeks so I will be due literally before we go to Budapest in February um but my eyebrows don't really keep a tint because I'm such like my eyebrow hairs are so dark I could probably get a tint in between um which I am debating because I get my lashes done every two weeks um I'm getting them, I'm getting my unibrow waxed on Tuesday at my appointment. And then I'll probably get my eyebrows tinted the next appointment two weeks later. And then the two weeks after that, it will be the full. Oh, so I might as well just wait. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud here. Um, yeah. So this brow pencil, I love. It's got a really creamy formula. The only thing I would say if you want something that's really really precise like if you've used the benefit precisely my brow this is slightly thicker if you can see that because it's at the end but it's it's not as thin so the hair strokes aren't like tiny tiny strands but i still like it and then i'm going to set them with the p louise brow gel again i haven't got any other brow gels at the moment and this is i would say quite affordable these come in sets with the eyebrow pencil but I just prefer the peaches one at the moment. God, what a difference that has made. Honestly. It wouldn't surprise me if in like the witch trials, makeup was considered like wizardry. Because this is crazy. Like you guys were here 18 minutes ago. Okay, so just discovered my lashes, a quick brush. Pop them into place. Right, okay, so I am done. Super simple, nice and quick. And um, yeah, ideal if you just want kind of a fresh face, if you're going out to the shops or whatever else. And I'm going to finish my hot chocolate, put a bit of lip gloss on, and then go to the cinema and stuff my face with popcorn. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week for another little video. Bye.